I'm coming out as an introvert. As an introvert? This guy? I want the world to know that I'm an introvert. Yes, friends. My name is Joel Colossi. I'm the super brave teacher. The super brave teacher who is going to tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way for people like me. Hi, Joel Kralovsky, gay kindergarten teacher right here. LGBTQ teachers and students deserve visibility and voice that comes in multiple ways on multiple platforms that is radically positive and accepting for all. So thank you for liking this channel. Thank you for sharing this channel. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for tweeting or doing whatever you do. It means more than you know, as do you. Thank you, friends. So back to me possibly being an introvert. Yes, friends, I have been listening to a lot of podcasts lately, a lot of podcasts with introverts. And the more they talk, the more I'm like, wait, that's me. Wait, that, I do that too. Wait, wait. Wait, I think that's me. And I think the biggest thing for me that's been confusing is that, as you can tell, I have a lot of energy. Now, most people think that all day long, I'm like this Energizer Bunny who's like, I have all this energy. But like I've said before on this channel, you'd be shocked to watch me teach. I call it like, the mini lessons of awesomeness. When I am on, when I am in my art, when I am in my element with kids, I am in a different world. I am so there and present and full of energy with them. It's the best. And the rest of the day, I'm chill. I'm helping kids, I'm present with them, but I am not, it is not ah, the Joel Show at all. And I think maybe when you watch these videos, you're like, wow, I would, I've heard, if I had a dime, one of those, two, if I had a dime for every time I hear this, Joel, if I just had a tenth of your energy, Joel, if I just had a, a little sliver of your energy, I'd be, things would just be so much easier in life. If I just had, first of all, I hear what you're trying to say, that it's hard to not have energy, but sometimes having all of this is a lot. But also, I do active, hard, good daily work of self-care to make sure that my energy levels are just right. I get good sleep, I take care of myself, I make sure all of my bases are covered, my mental health, my sexual health, my spiritual health, my emotional health, my psychological health, all those things are important. It, so this energy just doesn't come from, from nowhere, it is an intentional thing, but also, I'm going off on energy. Apparently this is a video on energy. Energy, having energy or being an energetic, captivating person, which I think I am, doesn't make me automatically an extrovert. In fact, so many famous people from Lady Gaga to Oprah or whoever are introverts. And they talk about how like when they're on, they can be on, but when they are done, they need to be done and they need their time and their space. And I think you would be shocked at when I come home, I am just silent. And I put on my headphones and I listen to a book or I put on some music and I dance around the house, but I need that recharging so, 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 so much. I come from a family of catnappers. I come from a family of people who are just like, they come home from church or from school or wherever they're coming from and they're just done. They need that mental health time to just rest, right? And I definitely know that to do what I do, it leaves me so sapped and so drained that I need to protect, protect those beautiful moments when I can be so alive. But it's hard and I also think it's getting harder every year of my life. Like I. I, I was just reading about introverts and um, something that is very common is the thought of me talking in front of 10,000 people does not scare me in the like, in the, in the least, in the least, that's a phrase. 
But the thought of talking to 10,000 people afterwards is like, ugh, ugh, don't make me. Now, like I said before, my dad's a pastor. I grew up in the church, so like I can talk to anybody. I know how to do that. I know how to, I know how to work the crowd if I have to. But it is hard. And I, I've learned my tricks. Like an introvert trick is like, give me a little job. I will do my job. So it's like, if there's ten thousand people, like if I, if my job is like, to serve them water, I will walk up to everybody, give them their water. Do you need anything else? To, so like my brain can just not start getting overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, I like my alone time. I like space. I love chill time. I get anxious in crowds. I get anxious even like, I always get to school early and just have some me time. And like, once I start hearing people coming, I'm like, oh. now once the kids are in the room, I'm like golden, but it's just that time where it's just like, no, I just need this time for me. Don't come yet. I just need this time for me. So what's your flavor of introversion if you are one? Or maybe you're like watching this and you're like, Joel, this is a classic extrovert wanting to be an introvert and you're not. So maybe maybe that's the case too. Maybe it's just um, social anxiety. <laughs> maybe it's just anticipatory anxiety. I know I, I do wrestle with anxiety a lot. And I kind of think I'm an extrovert, so sorry. Maybe you don't want me on your team, but I'm coming out of the closet and just saying it. I'm, I'm at least 50-50, friends. I'm at least bi -troverted. I don't know if that's a thing, but kind of is in this case. So what, what's, what's your flavor? Are you introvert? Are you extrovert? Do you even think that's... Is this just like a socially constructed thing to make us feel shit crappy about ourselves? Almost swore. Sorry. Sorry for all those people who don't like swearing. Is it just one of those things to make us feel crappy about ourselves? Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. And also like this video, share this video, send it to someone who you think is a closeted introvert and needs to watch this. Thank you, friends. You are awesome. You are appreciated just for being you. Whether you are an extrovert, whether you're an introvert, whether you're something in between, all I know is make sure you take care of yourself because you are worthy of that self-care and you need to recharge those batteries. So stop watching this video. Go recharge your batteries and I'm gonna do the same. Joel, you appreciate it. You were loved. Thanks for coming out and sharing your truth. And thanks for learning more about yourself, Joel. That's what you need to do. Keep inspiring and spark green berry free. You were awesome. Joel, and you were awesome. All of you. Bye friends.